Right guys, welcome to Tiger Tropics. Today's a short episode, but one of my uh, subscribers, Brett Arch, uh, who's got a very heavily stocked Mbuna tank, was asking me, um, how long does it take for levels to build up when uh, your, your tank's so heavily stocked? And I thought, well, I've been quite lazy with testing recently. Just everything seems to be fine, so that's why I've been running it. So I thought I'll put it to the test because... Um, one thing about bigger tanks is um, water changes. Now, I haven't done a water change now uh, for 13 days. Uh, when you asked me, I said 13 days. It's actually 10 days. But I haven't done one in 13 days, and the levels were actually quite shocking. You know? Um, so I, I ran the test on uh, the Peacock tank, which has got loads of of uh, um, uh, peacocks in there plus two large ones uh, I've got about 15 to 16 yellow labs in the 240 I thought I'd test that and then I'll test the tap water now the whole the whole reason I'm doing this is A to a bit of clarity uh, um, on um, how the levels increase and whether it's worth actually using uh, RODI water uh, on a freshwater tank, and um, how to make it easier. Now, I'll follow this video up with how I'm going to make it easier for myself to do water changes. Because doing more water changes, if you think, if I'd have done it a week ago, it would probably be at half that level, um, which I'm going to divulge in a minute. So, I'll put the, level, I'll put the levels up now, and um, we'll go from now. So... Right, so that's the results, and um, I would say definitely, definitely, I would prefer to use the RODI water because um, it's so clean from the get-go that you haven't got elevated levels from the tank uh, from the, the tap. But um, for some reason, tap water was actually all right. Phosphate levels are just on that on that limit, which apparently um, one ppm of phosphates. And don't forget, phosphates are important as well. Not just nitrates. It's, it's also very, very important as well. Uh, but apparently, phosphate levels uh, shouldn't exceed 1 ppm. And it's right on that, on that, um, that, that brink. So if I was to use the RODI water, carry on using it, I'll be operating at a lower point. I mean, I'm on 1 ppm phosphates on uh, the tank, uh, the yellow lab and the tank, because I haven't done no water changes. Yeah, and there's a lot of food going in, in there. And a lot of the phosphates are coming from the food itself. If I fed cleaner, and then I'd have less phosphates again. Uh, 25 ppm nitrates right on the, on the brink of where I'd want it. I don't really want to exceed um, 25. Uh, sorry, 20. Um, the yellow lab tank is only like 2, which is, which is fantastic. Um, tap water's coming out at 10. So I can work with that. So, I think what I'm going to do, just to save myself some grief, is I'm going to start on the two freshwater tanks with tank water and go that route around and see how they, how they get on uh, with more frequent water changes, bigger water changes, and see if it's, it's better. Because the problem with, with the, the RODI systems is you need big containers, especially when you've got like more than one tank. You need a big container, and you need to mix, and um, containers ain't cheap. You know, when I'm looking, the minimum for a 300 litre container, you're looking in the region of 90 pounds, um, which I, I can't afford that. It's just fork out on a barrel. So um, the marine tank seems to be very easy to look after, only um, 25 litres a week. So the freshwater tanks are the ones that are really, um, really taking up a lot of water. So that's with uh, barrels and all sorts. So I'm going to go down a route. I'm going to go down another route, which I'm going to follow up on this video um, pretty soon uh, when I've got another product review and go from there. But for people like Brett, which was asking, like... Um, how quickly the the, uh, the, the, the thing rises. You can say within a two weeks two weeks scale that you are going to be looking at having to do a big water change. Um, 
if you're heavily feeding and you've got a higher bio load. So I'll keep that in mind, and uh, I'll definitely, if you can, if you can afford the whole setup of storage and all the rest of it, that's the route I'll go down. I'll definitely, definitely go down the route of um, containers, putting into containers, doing the mixing and all the rest of it, and keeping my fresh water tanks with the RODI. But it's a pain in the ass, lugging barrels about and whatnot. So I'm going to go down the route of, of going back to fresh water, um, and using the RIDI for the Marine. So hopefully that's helpful, guys. Um, and I'll see you next episode. See you later.